What's up everybody? Today I wanna to talk about how you can gain more attention to yourself if you're an artist. These are methods that I've used that I know for a fact can get good results for you. But before I say any of this though, I think it's important to point out that none of these methods I'm gonna give you are like a one and done type thing where if you do it one time, it's guaranteed to work. These are methods you'll continue to apply every day or however often you do artwork in your life constantly. And it's like, it's like planting a tree, like where you can't really get the fruit immediately, but you're gonna get what you put into it. So by applying these methods enough on a consistent basis over time, you will gain more attention as an artist and you'll gain more money too, if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so here we go. Oh, first hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Okay, let's do it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is making relevant stuff. Creating relevant stuff is a super easy way to gain attention as an artist. Now, this is very important because people are more likely to engage in and buy and share your work when it resonates with them in a special way. This is what I mean by relevant stuff. If you can find a way to incorporate pop culture or current events into your work, people will gravitate towards you a lot faster. So when you make an art piece that's relevant to current events, what you're really doing is inserting yourself into that conversation and then encouraging people to see your point of view. This method, sometimes it brings out the worst in people. I've had times where people went absolutely crazy in my comments due to something I created. But one positive thing that comes from all of this is that it feeds the algorithms. The algorithms feed off of engagements. So really, no matter what the people are commenting on your post, it's, it's gonna make it get more and more attention. And that's ultimately what you want to achieve. Knowing this, sometimes I actually just take the route of going back and forth with whatever angry person decides to comment on my post that day, just because I knew it would make my post keep popping up on my followers feeds and in the explore page. Speaking of feeds and explore pages, you wanna be on social media as much as possible. This may seem like a no brainer and something that we all do anyway, but what I mean exactly is you have to make your presence as an artist known on a consistent basis. You can't just be posting pics of your food or gossip or politics or just posting a lot of aimless stuff. You have to constantly remind people of who you are and what you can do for them if they connect with you. Tons of different social media platforms that artists can especially re really get some attention from. Instagram is the giant, obviously, but Giphy is also a place that, or Jiffy, however you, it's pronounced, is also a place that I found business by posting just frequent artwork that I made on there. I have an account on there, and as well as on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on TikTok. Like, you should be as active as you can on at least a few of these uh, social media networks, posting as much as possible. Now you might be asking, what can I do on social media on a daily basis? If you're an illustrator, you can post pics of your drawings, you can post pics of the process. You don't even have to be complete projects, but when you're posting on social media, you just have to keep people engaged. People like to see progress work almost as much as they like to see the finished product. You can post pics of you doing things related to art, you can post pics of you hitting art events, and then that's a good place to network with people and make your presence bigger as an artist. You know, you want to share photos and videos of the equipment you use. You can start polls and discussions related to the type of art you make. It's a lot of things you can do. You really don't have to overthink it, but whatever you decide to post, try to make it look aesthetically pleasing to look at because you are an artist after all. Number three, you want to collab with artists to make bigger projects. If you're used to doing a certain size project, you can bring another artist into the mix to expand the workload and do something bigger. That way, the both of you will be exposed to a new network of people. I've grown to a point where like almost every single piece that I share online now is a product of me and someone else. So I get the luxury of getting double exposure from me posting it as well as them. Number four, you wanna give away as much stuff as possible. This actually should be higher on the list. It may sound counterproductive, but it's a proven thing that's worked time and time again with all sorts of different artists and brands. There's lots of things you can give away for free that doesn't cost much. And especially if you're an artist, 
You can give away a little bit of your time to complete something for them, or you can set aside some time to make a bunch of downloadable things you can give away. You can teach people things. It's a, it's a lot of things you can do. Be creative. The trick sometimes is knowing who to give the freebies away to, because if you're limited on the freebies, you want to try to give it to somebody who can help you in return in some way without it even being much of a hassle for them to do so. Number five, whenever possible, keep a relationship with the people you work with. They'll continue to bring other people to you in at least two ways. One, by actually telling people about you, and two, by you always signing your own work and having them tag you in it when they post it. Last but not least, number six, making street promo and street art. This one requires you to leave the house, but it's something that's just as effective as online, maybe even more so, depending on where you live. Print up your work, hang it out in the streets, get it in front of eyes, make stickers, make posters, give those away, stick them up in bars and bathrooms. They might get removed, but they'll be seen before that happens. Just make sure you don't damage anyone's property in the process. Try to collaborate with businesses that have storefronts. Every business on the street needs an artist at one point or another. They might want to let you create a mural there to help their business stand out on the street. They might let you design their marketing materials that might let you sell their clothes in their store. You really never know until you ask. So those are my tips on broadening your audience as an artist. I hope these tips help you in some kind of way and motivate you to get out and start making things happen for yourself. Thanks for watching as usual. Peace out.